Newly passed federal legislation has transformed the sports landscape. Businesses can enter into name, image, likeness or NIL agreements with student athletes, which some say could be worth millions of dollars in revenue for the entire community. KITV4's Diana Ko looks at how the University of Hawaii's Brotherhood and Sisterhood Grinds programs play a big part in that. Cheers and excitement when the Hawaii Restaurant Association earlier this month launched Sisterhood Grinds in support of the University of Hawaii's women's volleyball and soccer teams. Restaurants will take turns providing one meal per week to players and staff of the participating teams. The other UH teams signed on are men's football and basketball and women's basketball. But it's so much more than a free meal. Head football coach Timmy Chang says this is feeding excitement for UH sports. We want to retain as much of the kids on the team as well as, you know, in the state. We want to recruit the best kids in the state. We want the best kids, you know, across the country to come here and play for our university. It's turned some pretty big recruits' heads, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Ryan Tanaka co-owns Giovanni Pastrami and chairs the Hawaii Restaurant Association. He came up with the idea. It's a retention tool for the coaches. It's a recruiting tool for the coaches. It shows our players and prospective players that Hawaii supports all of you. You work in the business sector. You don't have anything to do with athletics. Why is this so important to you? How does this help our state economically? This program can transform our economy and take us out of COVID. Tanaka believes it could be worth tens of millions of dollars over the short term in sports tourism. And that appetite for UH sports would build on itself. That allows the legislature to allocate more money to improve our facilities and to build these programs. Chang agrees winning sports teams are big business. These NILs don't run short of just what what Ryan has done here with the HRA. You know, there's there's millions of dollars involved in paying kids uh, that haven't even played yet. The partnership can even teach the student athletes some business smarts. Many good things like relationships and mentoring opportunities can come out of there. The HRA says it's working on signing the men's volleyball and baseball teams next. Tanaka says every win on the field is a win for the community as a whole. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.